Stormgate, like many other real-time strategy games, will have neutral structures, some of which you can actually interact with, and today I'll be going through four neutral structures that have been revealed to us so far. The neutral structures are designed for use in the campaign and co-op modes of Stormgate, and they'll be scattered around levels for players to find and interact with. Now, whilst we don't know all the ins and outs of these buildings, it's still great to have that bit of introduction to them. Starting off with the Cantina, it's a wretched hive where scum and villainy of all kinds can be hired. And I love the fact that it has a mercenary lived-in facility kind of vibe with the chimney and the front tented entrance. There's been some interesting concept artwork for it, and I do wonder whether there will be different models for different types of maps or even included in the modding tools and map editors. It would really be amazing if it was. It will give a lot of flexibility, a lot of variability to make the game look great. Next up, we've got the Smuggler's Den, which is a black market where rare items can be purchased for a price, of course. Some things to note about this particular structure is that it looks like Frost Giant will be putting in small details to structures with animations, for example, the exhaust with smoke, lights that might flicker, a camera light that might turn off and on, and even a small peephole that could open and close. The battery in the bottom left might have sparks, and the ventilation on the bottom right might be slowly rotating. We'll have to see how it is in-game. It really will give that little bit of an extra zazz to the environment in Stormgate, and it's often these sorts of things, these small details that can give real charm to the campaign and cooperative experiences. The Lost Vault is a half-buried vault of precursor technologies that contains a limited number of relics that can be excavated to grant team-wide upgrades. Now, considering the nature of the description, of the Lost Vault that it grants team-wide upgrades, it's quite likely that this structure would feature in the cooperative game mode, or even possibly the 3v3 game mode later in Stormgate's development. Now, what's nice about the Lost Vault type of neutral structure is that it could perhaps manifest itself in different forms. For example, an overturned truck or crashed plane. It's pretty cool that it looks like it might be customizable according to the map and the environment. And last but not least, we have the Wellspring, which is an ancient fountain of pure healing waters, which, well, sounds like it's a healing fountain, of course. Now, I don't think this neutral structure is going to be as complex as the previous, but it's certainly going to be useful in the campaign and cooperative missions if it features there. We also do have a sneak peek at various post-apocalyptic environmental assets that will no doubt find their way into the game in some shape or form, and I'm pretty excited to see what the modders will achieve. All that remains to be seen are some in-game shots of various environments in Stormgate. Hope you guys enjoy it, and if you'd like to see the development roadmap for Stormgate after early access release, you'll want to check out the video on your end card at the end of this video. But for now, enjoy the various clips of environments that we have in Stormgate.